Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And like you said, I am rehearsing the whole of the Easter event and looking at his death, his, his, his crucifixion, his trial, his resurrection, and every story that comes with it. And for me, like I said, Easter is not just an event, but Easter is a principal field event. Therefore, I'd like to capture my thought this morning with Scatter Company. Now, I, I, I've just been looking at what Jesus went through and some of the things that happened. And some of them are very, I mean, they hold my curiosity for, they've been holding my curiosity for quite a long time. John, if you remember, at the, at the communion table, it was John whose head was on the bosom of Jesus. John was called the beloved. Peter was the big fisherman who said, man, I'm going to die with you. James and John, the sons of thunder, wanted to command fire from heaven to thunder and lightning to fall on people who were preaching the gospel, but who were not in their company. I mean, loads of people, all the 12, I mean, all the good people around him. And the Bible said at the crucial moment when he was ar arrested and the crucial moment where he was being taken to, for trial, they scattered. They vanished. And even the one who went with him as far as the trial said, I don't know the man. So what happened to all the love? What happened to all the fellowship? What happened to all the, 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 the nice things they were sharing? You know, at one time, they even sang a hymn. He, what, what happened to it? What happened to all the time he, he, he spent teaching them? At the moment when he needed them most, when people had come to arrest him, and people were, I mean, he had been taken for trial, they all vanished. They scattered. Scatter. Pa, 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 everybody gone. And the principle is very simple. You know, you need to understand that there will be moments in your life where you'll be alone. And sometimes at a great distressing moment in your life, when you do that, I mean, you are dependent upon other people just there to give you support, just there to give you, I mean, encouragement, just there to let you know I and mean, lift you up from the doldrums of discouragement and despair, pick you up from, from that zone of desperation and, and, and depression. They will not be there. They scattered. They were gone, 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 gone. That's what happens. And it's a fact of life. And sometimes you may think that everybody is going to go with you. They're not going to go with you. You're, go, you're on your own. And there will be moments in your life where you need to understand that you are on your own. It's not because you're a bad person. It's not because you're the worst person on the surface of the earth. No, not at all. But God designs it that, that way, in such a way that when the victory comes, no one can lay claim to your victory song. You were there alone. So there are moments that sometimes of God's dealings with you where God doesn't want company. Where God doesn't want anybody else. It's just you. And sometimes you gather, people will gather around you, sing your praise, say everything. At the most crucial moment, they will all run away. And it's not your fault. That's what life is. It happens. Happen to Jesus, it will happen to you. Don't ask me whether it, it happened to me. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, but you know what? It's a fact of life. So, Scatter Company happens to everybody. See you later.